Hello, hello, everybody. And I think I just broke a block. Never mind. Welcome back to another video. Another new concept video, actually. For this concept, last time... Last time we did the uh, underground base. And for today, as you can probably hear in the video title as well, that I made a underground village, which is right down there. So before we start... I know I'm a little late to this. The Lush Caves uh, update came out, I think, like, about a month ago now. I'm late, but nonetheless, I'm here, I'm well, and let's finally get this tour on the road. So this is, I made this as, like, the spawn point, really, because, you know, we're down at negative 30, and I felt like... A staircase all the way up to the surface surface would be pretty useful so this is the start area and as soon as we come down here we can see a pig I put a few animals around try to give it more like life if that makes any sense so I, you'll see a bunch of animals roaming around and as soon as we walk down here we can see the base or not it really even base the uh, village and another thing I put the game mode on peaceful because the villager AI is pretty stupid, like look at them. And I didn't consider that when making this village, so that's just something you'll see. They're not really using it how I expected it. So yeah, once we come down here, this is our like first branch of like stairs. We'll go over there first. And for lighting, I put sea lanterns in the ground. And I should have taken out all these torches. I don't know why I forgot to do that. Anyways, we'll start all the way down here. Start at like the farthest end and then move down. It's sort of in layers. I think there's three layers. And yeah, let's get to it. Over here, I built a, like a little abandoned mine shaft. I put a lot of the, uh, what do they call glowberries? Put them all here. It just stops right there. Because it's just for looks, nothing functional or serious, and it's the redstone signal is just enough to where it ends right there. And if you just click the button, it goes, and it'll come right back. So this is like a little mine shaft thing. I made it look all abandoned with the vines and everything. And over here, this is the house. All the houses, as you can see, they're built into the wall, except for that one. Thought it'd be easier like that, give more room for like walkways. And this is the first house. They all look kind of the same. You'll notice like a trend throughout the uh, village. So this is the first house I'll show you. Come in here. All I did is put beds and make it look somewhat decent. And another thing I realized in this world is that there are a lot of iron golems spawning. I don't know if the algorithm is whacked out. But you can see one, two three in there and I think there's even more so there's a lot of iron golems too but that's not that much of a problem so this is what the first house looks like moving along going back this right over here I built a little park like a little scenic greenery area with the new moss blocks and all that I put these flowers I think they're called zip spore blossoms I'm about to, i was about to call them azaleas i think these are it yeah so i put a bunch of flowers in here a little bridge boats that villagers are getting stuck in another boat down there because they're stupid and yeah i know another iron golem right over there more villagers and yeah it's pretty small i built a little like bench sitting area right here you know, to relax, look over the base. Not even base village. I keep calling it a base. And now, once we go back, we have one more house on this floor before we go down. Which is right over here. Once again, I didn't even put lanterns in here. I just put torches. And I didn't even put windows in it because I kind of I goofed on the uh, thing. So when you come in here, it's like against the wall. I think it would look pretty bad like that, so I just left it as it is, windowless, and all the animals are so 
up there for some reason. Coming down here, this is our little farm area. We got a bunch of farmer villagers. They're trash trades. But that's not the purpose. So we got wheat, carrots, and I think potatoes. Yep. And all it does is just loop around. And you can see more of like a natural cave system. I didn't do anything up there. And you can see even starts tanking down deep over here. So this is our little farm area. And over here is a house really... For the farmers, it's small. You actually have windows in this one, at least. And it's made out of stone brick. I think most of them are. I forgot. Yep. Yeah, they are. And yeah, the window looked kind of weird with the one side, but it's an underground village. What do you expect? And I don't think it looks that bad in the corner. Coming over here, actually. Yeah. Coming over here, this is just another house. Pretty basic. It's got windows over here looking out. Can't really see much, but it's there. And these are beds that the villagers can sleep in. One thing, I, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I put the house right here, right next to the farm, so that these farmers can just like run up there whenever it's nighttime. Not like it matters though, because it's on peaceful. And we're running along over here. I have our little library built. That's two stories. Another iron golem is in here. Geez, they're everywhere. Got a librarian with no mending. Absolutely trash. Nonetheless, we have a lectern, books, and an enchantment table. Stuff you'd usually see in a library. And this uh, leaves with glowstone. Give it more of like an enchanted feeling with all the, those hieroglyphs moving around. And. We'll get to the bottom once we wrap around here and when we run up i didn't mean to fly when we run over here take this left and right and it goes downstairs a little more i think this is the last layer yep another mini farm because it didn't really feel like building another house felt like i had to have a balance of farms and like produce areas rather than just like housing and once again they're all bunched up over here jobless homeless because they're pretty stupid i've said that many times already once again another farmer here got wheat all the shebang and once we come over here over here is another house that kind of loop has this like little u-turn almost i don't even know what you call it it's like loop around and again come in here same deal just sea lanterns and beds and we actually have real windows which is i think looks pretty nice let's see how it looks like from the inside yeah you can see like everything pretty cool and once you run over here i thought this would be like a cool central point with the sea lanterns up here like that and look at these stupid villagers anyways i gotta knock it off before they start rioting against me and over here is more like the blacksmith area because i couldn't really find a room this is one of the last things i built i couldn't really find a room put everything in like a decent manner so i just stacked everything over here which it works, but I'd like it a little better, but I kind of rushed this build over the past week, so many things can be better, such as the alignment. You can see like right over here, it's like weird with the uh, sea lanterns, but that's an easy fix. Over here is the bottom of the library. There's just one bed here for the librarian. They're like not supposed to leave. And yeah there's the slab goes up because it's right there can't fit kind of bothers me but makes it work and i'm never over here and i probably never will after this video so let's keep it going and this is our last house i'm pretty sure it's the biggest one yeah it's a, it's a pretty big one by far just filled it with torches 
could have done better on that, but I kind of forgot. And once again, look outside. And you can see everything, you know, that's what windows do. <laughs> All right. And this over here is just a, a little anvil corner because why not? I can't really build a house here to interfere with that. And they could be like a cool look off point. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole village, actually. It's pretty small, but... And it has more walking than actual, like, purpose, but... Once you, like, come out here, I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of looks, like, all mysterious, like... Let's run over here real quick. Let's say you're, like, running through. And you're like, oh, there's some light. There's some light. Oh my gosh. There's something over here. Oh, there's a huge village. I think this would be a pretty cool idea that they could put in the game but who knows what will happen another thing i did for the most part you could probably notice it i built this huge like water system to make it look nice with drip leaves this is like the new thing if you stand on it they break just like that and i pretty much opened this all up so it's like a continuous flowing waterfall because if any of you guys are familiar in the lush caves, they all, all the water is like placed in one blocks like this surrounded in clay and it looked really ugly. So I kind of just opened it up and made like this huge water passage going all the way down. Like over there, comes to here and then into this huge like pond, which all the villagers love for some reason. And that's pretty much it i seems like i rushed through this it fe feels like i talked much more than i usually do but that's the village and if any of you guys enjoyed this video i'd appreciate if you drop a like comment how the video was you know where i can improve and subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this right build concepts that can be thrown into the game or you could use in your own way so yeah once again hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna be trying to upload much more frequently it's just hard with school and everything not like you guys care though so i'll wrap it up right here last time i think this is the third time i said this oh my gosh anyways hope you guys enjoyed be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out.